Hi there, it's uh, Scott from Livewire Rock Academy here. Today we're going to be looking at Fontaine's DC Liberty Bell. So the song starts with uh, drums and vocals for the first verse, and then the guitar comes in just after the vocal finish with a four bars of a beat power chord. So for foundation that should be seventh fret. You can play that eight times and then repeat that four times. So you get repeat that four times. And for the power chords it's seventh fret E, ninth fret A, or you can do it down there, seventh fret A, fourth fret D. Either way it doesn't matter. So you get a There is a little stop on the uh, third time between the third and fourth where, because they've got two guitars, one stops and the other one carries on. So it's up to you if you want to stop there and let one of the other two carry on or vice versa. So then we go into verse two, which starts on the B from where we were. So you do that. Two lots of eight, so two times around. Then we're going to go up to an F sharp. So that's foundation, that's ninth fret on the A. Uh, the now calls it ninth fret A, eleventh fret D. You play that for the same amount as the B. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two lots. Then we're going to go up to a G sharp, so eleventh fret on the A for foundation, and with power chords eleventh fret. A thirteen fret D. We're playing that for eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to go down to E. So the foundation that's seven fret A and power chord seven fret A and one fret D. And that's for another eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to F sharp. So that's that ninth fret A foundation and ninth fret A and then fret D for power chords. For A. Then we're going to go back to that E that we went on. So what you get is a... Back to the verse. We repeat that, so you go back to that start. Where um, I just spoke about where it starts. And then after you repeat that, so you do the verse two times, we go into the chorus. Which starts similarly to the verse on that B, so that's 7th fret. 7th fret E, power chord 7th fret E, 9th fret A. You can play that 8 times, so you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then go down to E and play that once. So 7th fret A for foundation, 7th fret A and 9th fret D. So you get this pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You've got to do that three times, so you get all together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we go up to the F sharp, so that's that ninth fret on the A for foundation, ninth fret A and eleventh fret D. You've got to play that for two bars, so two lots of eight. So then we repeat it. Just the only difference is when we get to that um, F sharp again, we're going to do four rounds instead of two. So what you get is first time. And we finish that phrase by going back to that B, so it's going to be three. Or it's going to be Also, in the second time round, the, the first time the band stops, the second time the band play through, the guitar stops, but what it's doing is sort of a sort of like scratchy 
covering the strings and not getting a sound, just sort of scratchy sound, so yeah. Like that. If you can't do that, just do it. Just do the stop, okay? So once we get to the end of that chorus, there's a little drum break. After the drum break, we come back in with the verse, which is exactly the same as what we've done in verse two. So you do that two times, then go on to the chorus, which is exactly the same as what we've just done. Then after that, we go into what is verse four or outro, which is very similar to the verse, but there's a little different. So we start with the two bars on the B, the one, two, three, four, Two on the F sharp, up to the G sharp, the E. Now this is where it's different, you do two lots on the F sharp instead of going back down to the E. So you get all together, you get one. You repeat that. Only difference is on the second time there's a few uh, stabs with the drum on the F sharp on the second time round. So you get like that. Roughly, if you listen to the song, you can hear how the drum and guitar match up, and you'll be able to sort it out between the drummers and yourself and see where they're going for the sound. So you repeat that and then you're going to finish on the B power chord, that's 7th fret A, 9th fret D, 9th fret D, 9th fret A, there you go. And that's it. It's all fairly simple, just a lot of similar patterns, just repeated in different ways. Okay. If there's anything you're unsure of, just feel free to watch the video back or message Simon or one of us here at Livewire. Okay, thank you very much.